What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Claremont. We are in Sawgrass Bay. Gonna take you guys through the Home Dynamics model. Mm -hmm. Behind here is the Model C bonus. It's a four bedroom, three and a half bath, about 3,000 square feet. This one here has some really, really nice upgrades in it. I think you guys might like this. John and I is gonna take you guys through, so come on with us. Now, standing in front of the home, I, it looks really big. Like, you know, it has a good, big presence. Feet, a huge, yeah, nice brick paper driveway. Got a nice little front porch here as well, too. This is where you can put your nice little swing sets. Your rocking chair. Yep. Look at the light. Yes, sir. Now, they have conservation lots available here in Sawgrass with really, really nice sizes. So. If that's something you like, I'm pretty sure this will be an option. Notice how the door opens outward as well too, because this is a South Florida builder. They brought that with them. Now, pretty spacious floor, wouldn't you agree? Okay, yes. Okay, it's really nice. Nice lighting. This one is decorated really nice. Nice tile flooring. Now, one of the things with Home Dynamics is they still keep the separate family room as well as the living room or living room family room. I never know which one is which, but. You know what I mean. So this is not your main living space. We've got a separate formal dining. We've got a bathroom over here that's actually pretty spacious. This is a pretty, for a half bath, this is a really good size. And I like that it has a window in the front here. So <laughs> you can sit down here. Enjoy the view. <laughs> You'll know when somebody pulls up, basically. <laughs> that's, that's funny. You, so you can sit outside there on your rocker or you can just sit on the throne over here. You know, many options, many options. <laughs> I, like, I like the crown molly. Okay, yeah. The crown molly with other rooms and the bathroom too. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, this one is really nice. Then look at the railings here as well too. Now use this as an uh, idea to get an exam an idea, uh, an example of what, you know, this builder can do in terms of their design. You'll notice a lot of natural lighting windows. And actually one of the things that this builder does is they keep the trays, whatever tray ceilings we see, those are usually standard, so. Now this is your main kitchen, living room, living space. And you've got another dinette section over here, so a lot of options. Nice dark wood cabinets, stainless steel appliances. It has a nice feel. So this is where you kind of hang out mostly. A lot of to sit. I, I would say so as well. Yeah. One out there, one out here. And then on top of that, you can eat by the island as well too. So. All right, so. You can add tile to your outdoor lanai. Not all builders will offer that as an upgrade. This is natural conservation area. This is a model home obviously, but the lots that they have for sale have really, really nice, large size conservation lots. They're about 20 to $30,000 premium. But in my opinion, it is very worth it because the size of the lots are crazy, crazy big. But um, we're gonna, this is the master here. I like how they have this little mini foyer before you get into the little master over here. Nice little walkway. It's like you're going into another suite. And the tray, I believe, is actually standard with this builder. Most likely that door is an upgrade. Not bad, not bad. We've got a good size walk-in closet here as well too. Yeah, and notice we've got some attic storage there. And nice walk-in stand-up shower. Tile all the way to the top. I love the crown molding. I love the Lestello patterns that they have. That's very nice. I believe the tub actually comes standard as well too with this builder. Which is rare. They have, they do have some good included features. Here's your water closet with another window here as well too, letting in natural light. That's a huge thing. Not a lot of builders do add windows to to that. You got your little makeup section here as well too. I must say though, the vanity is a little low in my opinion. Right? I think so. You can do your makeup and sit down and have a chair. I know, but most builders they'll put this lower mm -hmm. and then they'll raise this mm -hmm. as well too because you know if you're doing your beard and stuff, you, you got to kind of go down a little low. So it's probably an upgrade to raise it. So most likely, I'm pretty sure they would offer that. 
so. You got a tray ceiling here too? Oh, look at that, yeah, look at that. We got a tray ceiling here, so. Now, is this the master or is this just a downstairs guest suite? I did not look at the floor plan before we came in here. But I'm getting a vibe of this is just a downstairs guest suite. It looks like a master. It does look like a master, but I feel like it's a little small. There's four bedrooms, so three bedrooms upstairs. Let's see this. This starts at 370 as of right now, and that is the downstairs master. Yep, that is the master. It's a 148 by 144. Okay, they got a huge upstairs loft. Okay, so right over here in the corner behind the kitchen, this is your pantry. Very good size. I'm kind of hungry, dude. You got any? Dang, it's empty. <laughs> Dang. False it. advertising. <laughs> wow, this is the shutter uh, bifold. This is different. I don't see this very often. That's actually the, their design studio. It has all their design options and stuff in there. They lock it out, though, because they don't want us in there seeing all this stuff. Carrier unit, very good. I like it. Good size laundry. Another window as well, too. So, like I said, the, the window options mm -hmm. with this builder is very good. Well, same energy. Yeah. With a lot of light. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah. So, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about this kitchen and living space here. Is this big enough for you for 3,000 square feet? Do, what would you guys use this other space here for? So, I could see a pool table or something going over here. Maybe make this like a game section, right? Mm -hmm. So, this is the living area. That's the family room. But they have two dining areas. Yeah. Why. That's why, in my great. opinion, what I would do, I would make this like the entertainment section, right? And just make that the main living space, the everyday use type of thing. But you're not married. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> and I don't have kids, yeah, so. You don't like to design your house. <laughs> that is very true. So that, I'm pretty sure that would change quite a bit. Yes. But. Your wife is not on a pool table in the front yard. That's true. Well, maybe I'll just stay single forever then so I can have my pool table in the front. <laughs> Hey, hit Marlon up <laughs> if you're single. Yes, sir. All right. So look at the railings. That's a very nice touch. I love the color as well, too. And look at the upstairs loft. And now, yeah. And this is, I feel like this is bigger than the living space downstairs. Is it not? Yeah, it has two downstairs. Well. Yeah. It feels bigger nice. than that one. Good natural lighting. The tray ceiling here as well too. I like the little cutout there, so you can use it as an office. Oh, wow, even good storage mm -hmm. over here. So, so far so good. Oh, over here is a uh, another guest suite. I love the ceilings too. It's wow. nice ceilings. We've got vaulted ceilings over here. Wow, that's a nice touch. Yeah. They don't do this often in new homes these days. Good lighting, good. Yeah, this is not the master. This is smaller. A window, letting in natural light. That's that's a huge plus. I love that. And a private bath. You get a tub, linen closet. This is a spacious. In the shower. And a stand-up shower, towel to the top. So, if you've got, you know, another couple staying with you, they can actually use this room here. Yeah, that's a very you small know? person. I agree. That's pretty small. I agree. That is pretty small. But let's face it. How often do you really use that? Most time, you probably just use it to soak your clothes. I've had over <laughs> ten years. I've never used it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I do like the the trim that they yeah. use. Very decorated. Railings up here is just air handle. Let's see. Yep, yes it is. Carrier brand and okay, very clean, very clean. I like it. Not a big fan of those bifolds. I prefer a door. Another window. Now another window in the shower. I, I'm loving this, but I mean you're taking a shower here. Your neighbors can kind of see you. You got to put a blind here or it's something. Frosted, I was going to say they should have been frosted. Yeah. So, but I love the Lestello, I love the design. I love the fact that there is a window in the bathroom. 
and it is pretty spacious like I yeah you can easily get dressed there with any uh, issues so we got two bedrooms in the corner here these are pretty decent maybe 10 by 11 type of room yeah nothing nothing too crazy decent ceiling standard closet standard room similar size over here i love the cars i love it this is this is themed for me now this room does have a bigger closet which is kind of odd you would think they would make this like for a girl's room with the bigger closet and make this one here for the i make this one for the boys because it has a smaller closet but hey you're right the boys need big closets too because got a lot of stuff but um so just to recap this here is actually just an upstairs guest suite with its own private bathroom nice vaulted ceiling as well too so if you have like another couple staying with you or you want to give your teenager a really nice section and their own privacy that's really good i mean if you had another couple staying with you as well too maybe they're willing to pay rent mm -hmm. this can be their upstairs living spot mm -hmm. as well too and you can just live downstairs i mean honestly this home has very good flexibility so let's go back downstairs yeah for a two-story home this has a lot of rooms a lot of flexibility you can fit a large family in here space. yeah quite easily so but yeah let me know what you guys think of this model here what would you use that front space over there would you use that as your main living space or i mean you got to use this as your main living space what kind of furniture would you use over there what would you do with the loft how would you use this here i think this is actually a very good model starting around 370 lots are 20 to thirty thousand dollars premium for a conservation lot meaning no rare neighbors ever um surrounded by some nice tranquil trees very spacious lots as well too i think the lots themselves are very worth it these models here are pretty decorated they've probably got about a hundred to two hundred thousand dollars worth of upgrades in them so they're definitely very upgraded um if this you like this floor plan and you're considering something like this then reach out to myself or john we'd love to help you guys navigate this process here it's a little tricky with this builder here i would i will um admit that but uh nevertheless we can still get it done so until then thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a blessed day peace Later.